This is a teardown video of an amplifier research, high power amplifier. And if we just have a... This is what we're going to be tearing down. It's an amplifier research. Uh, 150 watt amplifier from 10 kilohertz to 220 megahertz. Here's a view of the underside with the uh, bottom panel removed. I haven't shown you removing that bottom panel. There's a 30 or so screws on there and uh, so I've taken that off off video and it's basically that the bottom side is the power supply and the control circuitry so just let's have a, a look at some of those there's the the main power supply for the the high power side and let's zoom in on some of those okay so there are two main outputs that are 36 volts at 21 amps that's a quite a meaty output and if we look out to the output connectors I'll put my finger on a, one of those nuts so you can actually see just how large that is. So uh, there's the outputs of the main power supply. So I've taken off the, uh, the top of the two uh, large units in the power supply section. Let's just zoom in and have a look at that one. Now there are, there are four of these boards, there are four of these boards, um, each one with a tip 147 and another uh, 5 pin, either voltage regulator or a, a current sense IC. Um, there's a couple of big 0.2 ohm resistors in parallel, I'd a rough guess I'd say they were 3 watt. And they're 0.2 ohms each, so 0.1 of an ohm when they're put together. And they're mounted on a heat sink. It's 6 inches wide and there's a 2 to each heat sink. And then on the other side of that unit Here's a, a fan blowing all the air through them, so uh, quite a lot of an attempt to keep those cool. Elsewhere in there, buried down the bottom, there is just a string of not particularly interesting various bits of power supply and protection circuit and relays. So before we start looking at the other side, let's just have a a last little look at uh, one board that's on the bottom side and that's just a con control board that will turn things off should, the, should they need to. There's just four relays and uh, some LEDs on there. Well, I guess as we'll go through we'll find out a bit more about it. One last thing I'd like to mention before we uh, turn this unit over and look at the RF side on the top is that there's a key lock on this and I don't have a key so once we start to get it to work I'll just short a wire across the two terminals on the other side. So we've got the lid off and let's have a little look inside. It's a, an impressive collection of RF circuitry. So let's zoom into the input side. And the input comes in at the bottom of that circuit board there and it goes up through three single ended sections of RF amplifier. Just bring it a bit closer. 
so that's the first transistor and up through the second one and up through the third one and then if we zoom out a bit on the right is the first of the balance and that's a splitting the signal into two and then above that is a pair of two more transistors to amplify the signal still further and then there's a ballon and that output ballon or the toroid is about two inches in diameter and above that is a four-way splitter and that splits the signal into four and then each of those four outputs from the splitter go to these four amplifiers that you can see in the middle of the screen. So let's have a look at the uh, power amplifier boards in the middle of the unit. There's uh, four of them all running in parallel and on the input of each we have a ballon taking the input single ended signal into a balanced signal that's then split through a pair of Guanella impedance transformers which are these two here through the two active devices um, and in parallel with the two active devices are a pair of rather large feedback resistors to keep the gain flat across the band on the output we again have at uh, this time some larger uh, Guanella impedance transformers and a larger ballon this time in working in reverse to take a pair of uh, balance signals um, and to put that into a single ended signal and those then go into a combiner and if I zoom out then we can see the combiner on the left hand side which consists of a, an assortment of toroids and coils and some rather large flanged 50 ohm resistors that you can see there and they all go up to a final pair of coils and onto the output.